What's going on with y'all, man? What's going on? What's going on? It's good to see y'all. Good to be back with y'all. You know I'm over here at the park. Same park. Different location at the park, though. You know, we had to change it up. You feel me? We couldn't just be over here just <laughs> in the same locale. Can't get me with that rifle from about a thousand miles. <laughs> Let me fuck with y'all, bro. I'm just feeling good. Energy good. Um, mental good. Just chilling, trying to figure things out one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all doing the same. Hope y'all just keeping everything in perspective, keeping everything in front of you. Drop what doesn't really serve you. you feel like if it ain't serving for you, it ain't working for you, y'all ain't working out, whatever the case may be, you gotta drop it, man. If you're trying to elevate it, you're trying to do what you gotta do, you gotta, you feel me? Like I say before, I always say, y'all, uh, not saying it's easy. Lord, I, Lord knows I understand what y'all going through. If y'all on the journey, Lord knows I do. So, like I said, one foot in front of another, man. But look, I had a weird dream last night, right? I mean, like a weird ass dream, like, like, like hella weird. I think I was in like in China or some shit or some Japan, China or something like that, bro. I could have I could have swore I was half Japanese or, or whatever that is, China or Chinese or something. I don't know. I was. I had some long ass hair, but I had grippers though. You feel me? I'm talking about that whoa, all that type of shit, right? I swear I was beating niggas up. <laughs> I was fighting hell in niggas, bro. I don't know what the hell was going on. I was on my Jackie Chan shit though, like running up shit, kicking off shit, back flipping off shit, and I'm like. All of a sudden, I woke up. My mom was walking by me. I'm like, man, bro, I was beating ass. You woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> it was just hella fun, bro. I mean, of course, I was getting my shit wrong, too. But it was just like, I was trying to figure out the significance in that weird dream. It's like, bro, you feel me? I don't know. Because, you know, all your dreams, they mean something. So even if you don't understand them today, you should write them down. Get you like a dream journal or something like that. And keep it by your bed. Don't move it. You lay your bed and make yourself sit there for like five minutes when you first get up. You feel me? And just write out. Even if it's something retarded as hell. I mean, like, it just don't make sense at all. Still write it down. It's very important. It's very important. You feel me? You can get your shit from your dreams. Your, um, your visions or anything about the future or shit that's going on. Or, or shit about the past. Will come up and you'll be like, bro, hold on. Wait a second. You feel me? Like... I had a dream about it and date it, bro. And date it in the time you uh when you got up or whatever, so you can help like you feel me like what day and where it was. And maybe you can try to like home it in and tap back into the energy you was giving out that night. You feel what I'm saying? If you uh, um if you realize you're a psychic person, you got like you can pick up on your intuition, telling good, go get you some lapis lazuli. Crystals only do so much, but. They do enough to help you get you over that edge if you hit the wall or you feel me or some shit like that. You need a little extra mm, on your shit. Like you doing all your daily regimens, you're eating right, you you doing everything you need to do. Go get you some lapis lazuli. Little uh, lapis lazuli. You feel me? And get, or get you some um what is that? Uh amethyst. That'll help with your crown chakra. So that'll open all that up. You got the lapis lazuli and some amethyst. So I got me a little, lap, a little lapis lazuli right there. You feel me? Just a little bit. Clear quartz on there too. So, so this is a little bit. I got a big old piece of my backpack. I got a big ass piece of it today. So, I always got my toys on me. You feel me? Sometimes I wear, sometimes I don't. But they always on me though. You feel me? So, that's why I say you can get some too and just put them around your uh, your desk. But you got to make sure that um, when you get them, you got to know where source you get them from. You feel me? Because really. People can put shit in crystals, nigga. Even though you cleanse them and do your whole little shit, it could be bad. So that's why I say, really, really watch where you get your crystals from. Um, I always told you, see, I don't, you find your own way how to cleanse them. You feel me? I'm not even gonna tell you the way I was told. You just go ahead and find your best way to cleanse your crystals. You can moon, you can moon charge them, or you can sun charge them. So there's two different ways you can do it. But me personally. 
I said charge a lot. I blue charge west, but it did I feel it better for me when you said charge it, but it just all just depends on, like I said, what you're trying to do with them. And you feel me? Where you got them from for number one, because if, if you got some bunk ass crystals, then it don't matter what you do to my mother. You feel me? But um, definitely speak about a lot on here is journaling. You feel me? You want to get you a little routine and stick to it and um, journal, bro. Like, I got away from it lately because I've been trying to do this podcast and shit, just to be honest. You feel me? But I got to get back into more journaling, but it was very important. <laughs> Cause I was going back on some of them. well, as you know, I had a journal and I had a uh, I had 2017 Sonata and then it got stolen or whatever. That's where I was living in when my wife lived. I was living in my car and then my car got stolen. Had all my journals and all my materials and everything in it. You feel me? So, uh, but I would go back and I would read that journal when I was on the street. You feel me? And uh, I was like, damn, bro, I was hella plugged in. Like I was plugged the fuck in with my emotions. You feel me? They came off and I was writing them like, damn, it kind of brutal. You feel me? But at the time, it was just like, damn, bro, like, you feel me? Obviously, you read a little anger in there, so you know, you go, but it's like, mainly, you feel me? It was like, mainly, it was, you feel me? It was there, and it's really weird. So it's like, all I was doing really was working out and just, uh, I was really watching what I was eating, though. I, I really, last year, I wasn't really eating. I was eating pretty good last year. I had no, pretty much no meat like that. I'm just saying, like, um, before I left the house, and, uh, even when I first, first left the house, I was doing cool, you feel me, but, uh, they need they, they, they to start giving their EB like, in their ass and shit, but, doing better now, but, <laughs> but, and I had, did I have crystals at that time? I had no crystals at that time. No, I didn't. I got my first crystal over there off of, uh, I don't know if you, if you even Sacramento, it's over there off of, uh, Florin in 24th. The little African market. I don't even know if they got it this year. So I went out there on a Saturday. I didn't see that of them niggas out there. It was like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. That thing wasn't even going. You feel me? That's a little weird. All in itself, right? All in itself. But we just go and just keep that moving. You just gotta, um, you just have to be aware, bro. I talk a lot about awareness. You just got to be aware. Okay, I'm slipping here. I'm slipping here. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. But journaling will help you. Just every day, if you just say what you about to do, your plan for the day, if you want to put that in there and get you a planner, or get you a little journal too. You feel me? My problem is consistency with that shit. I'll start off good. I'll just be like, okay, I'm cool. I don't need it. it, it or I just don't do it. it, it that's my problem. You know, I'm willing to tell y'all niggas my problems. So hopefully y'all ass don't fall in the pitfalls I do. You know what I'm But anyway. I love y'all. Thank you for pulling through, hollering at me. You feel me? Hopefully I said some things that'll set your shit straight. If we got some critiques on me, if you got some uh, tips or anything for me, feel, uh, please uh, feel free to leave them in the box. Please. You know, I love like I love my constructive uh, constructive criticism, so Till next time, you gotta be. Oh wait, 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 wait! I forgot too. And y'all gotta come up with a uh, routine for y'all kids too, bro. You feel me? I was just thinking about that shit too. I'm like, bro, even if they're at home or whatever, nigga, some type of routine like to start tapping into their shit. You know, because imagine if somebody really knew this information when you was young and was lacing you with the shit that they was learning, helping you tap into your shit. So when you got of it, you feel me? You can. Just some sense. I mean, some the food. Uh, uh, something to think on. I'm not trying to tell you what to do or anything like that because obviously I show children. But if you really on this shit now, then you understand. Like if you'd have had that at their age, you would have been raw. You'd have been like, they are. You're already raw. You're beautiful and all that. But I'm talking about like spiritually. You feel me? Like on some real shit. So just food for y'all to think of. If it'll be food for thought. Like I said, I love y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I'm going to tap in with y'all tomorrow. Be easy, y'all.